All right, so the question is whether or not you can reuse the Mentos when you do the Diet Coke reaction. So we have the geyser tube. It's filled with all the Mentos that are here. And now let me show you what happens. This is the first time we're using these. So he's, he's setting it up. You can see what's happening. All the Mentos go on the top like this. The pin goes in place. And this just simply twists on the bottle, all right? So when we pull the pin, this nice little lady over here is going to pull the pin. When you pull the pin, all the Mentos will fall. All the carbon dioxide comes out, and that's how it'll work. Okay, come here. It's okay. So it's Erica, right? Okay, so Erica, you have to look into the guy's eyes, say I'm sorry, and pull the pin. Nice. This is beautiful. He seems to like it. I'm not sure why the boy in the box seems to like this, but he seems to. A long time. Look at this, what he's doing. See how he's turning it upside down? He's actually reclaiming the Mentos. So if you turn it upside down like this, you can use the Mentos again. So this would go in here. So our question would be using the same soda and everything, the variable would be, can you use wet Mentos instead of just dry Mentos? So notice he puts those on top, puts the whole thing on, and now he's ready to go for round two, all right? So if you'd be kind enough, take the string, all right? Let's take a look at what used Mentos look like. Three, two, one just as good as the new ones, right? Because we even have more little nucleation sites that are on the outside, so it starts to come out. We get this beautiful fountain, and so now we've answered the question. Uh, you can reuse the Mentos, right? Boy in the box proved the point, and now you know.